G'day, fellas, and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in on the west of the map, we've got 3DB playing the Rus, his opponent who spawns on the opposite side of the map. Playing as the Abbasid Dynasty, we've got the one and only Lord Doubt, who is going to be blessing us with his presence in this game. For anybody who's unfamiliar with uh, the tournament that's going on right now, it is N4C, uh, and these players are playing for their chance to win a, uh, a part of a $100,000 prize pool. So quite a big prize pool, uh, Age of Empires for exclusive tournament. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about what is going on today. Uh, so if you haven't watched the game that was immediately before this on YouTube, uh, this is game number two of this series. Uh, so we've got, obviously, Doubt versus B. Uh, I'm not going to spoil that for you right now. So if you want to go and uh, if you want to go and see that, you're going to have to go and watch it. Otherwise, uh, I'd encourage you to close your ears because I am going to spoil it right now for you. 3DB lost. So Doubt is up 1-0. Uh, and so with that, we obviously enter into this second game and we are now, you know, moving towards a different map. We've obviously got Rus out for 3DB. Uh, it means that he's going to be focusing on a little bit of a different plan. Getting out the second scout nice and early. You can see he's already picked up a, a, a few wolves behind him here uh, and uh, continuing to scout out for those sheep on the map. He's managed to do so, so far. Uh, but uh, undoubtedly, he's going to be having a bit of trouble because uh, he's going up against Doubt, who is uh, probably going to be putting on the hurt for him here as well. Um, but uh, managing to deny quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of uh, of hunt up here. Uh, we'll check and see whether he's found it. Ooh, it looks like... I, I don't know whether 3D... I think Doubt found this first. I didn't actually see. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume Doubt found that. I don't think 3D managed to get that one. Um, but uh, 3D managing to pick up quite a number of wolves at this stage. Um, and, uh, I mean, looking pretty decent. He's got 135 in the bank already. The four wolves at this stage will take him up to 235. And then he's got these three sheep, which will take him up to 250. So he's going to hit his 250 mark very easily. He's also got a couple more wolves in the middle. At least one. And three more sheep. So that's another 40 right there. 45 on that boy. Uh, so he's going to hit very close to 300 on the bounty. Not to mention he's got these bad boys over here as well uh, that are going to be further carrying him up, taking him up to that next level. So a nice little opening for him. Um, but, uh, I mean, this is an, a, a matchup that we have seen quite a bit recently. Um, so the Rus versus the Abbasid. I'm sure you guys will remember there was a phase. The Rus were being picked an awful lot. And eventually people kind of worked out that the Abbasid dynasty aren't that bad against them. Uh, and that's primarily just because you know, they like to go for their bows. They like to go for their archer or their archer and their spears. And the composition seems to work pretty well against the Rus. So I'm curious to see what Doubt is going to be able to bring out today uh, as uh, as we head up to 340 on that bounty. So B definitely starting off very well here with that. But um, on the other side of the map, we'll check in with the House of Wisdom that's coming down for Doubt. And already we're seeing a bit of a variation off what is the standard. So obviously going for the economic wing. Um, but we've been seeing this wheelbarrow build come out. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it. Don Artie's wheelbarrow build. Uh, it is uh, a very strong build order, but it uh, doesn't look like Doubt is going to be going for that today. It looks like what Doubt is going to be doing uh, is going for a fast second town center. So already we see four villagers gathering up the stone. Just a handful of villagers on the wood at this moment. Keeping about two villagers on gold as well. He's going to want to get fresh food stuff as soon as he gets up to that next age. Um, and... Uh, Obviously, it makes sense to keep those villages on gold because you need to secure that fresh food stuffs. But now, towards the uh, back towards B's base, he is obviously dropping down that golden gate. Very rare to see the Kremlin. I feel like it's a bit of a meme. I, I say that, but every single time we watch the Kremlin, they uh, or every sing single time we've watched a player go the Kremlin, uh, they manage to win. So I don't know. Maybe there's something to it. Maybe there is something to it. But uh, now it looks like B going to be forcing back a couple villages here from Doubt. He's saying, "Hey, you're not putting up that town center so fast." I think you should stop doing that, please. Uh, fourth scout also going to be coming out. So I'm expecting that we're going to see uh, quite a handful of scouts coming out. Fifth scout now coming out. Sixth scout. Do we get it? We do indeed get a sixth scout. Probably even going to get a seventh scout here. I wouldn't be surprised, but take a look at all the scouts that are out on this uh, this stone mine doing a lot of damage and just being very annoying. So very frustrating to deal with here as Doubt. You know, Doubt's trying his best to, uh, to get up to the, the next stage and then drop down his town center. Meanwhile... He's just getting harassed and having to fall back. And, you know, a lot of people might look at this and go, okay, that's fine. Just stop mining the stone. Well, but then you lose your plan, right? One of the things you do when you enter these games is you've got a plan. You're like, okay, he's playing Rus. I'm playing the Abbasid. 
my win condition, it is to make villages. I'm going to make lots of villages. Okay, great. I'm going to make a second town center. And then you make a second town center. Dead. Never, never even gets up in the first place. And now you've got 189 stone that is literally just sitting there. Useless. Literally useless. Nothing you can do with it. I mean, you can do stuff with it. If you if you make an outpost, you can get arrow slits. If you make, you can make a stone wall with it, I guess. But uh, he's going to be sending out a couple of a villager, just a single villager. But uh, now he's managed to get those seven scouts out. We'll be looking to secure up this hunt out over towards the west of the map. You can see the professional scouts is in on the way. And uh, now these scouts moving back towards this stone mine. You can see they've found a villager. The villager wants to get out of there. But uh, looks like he's just going to be focusing down the the uh, the mining camp. And you can see he's got quite a bit of damage coming out here as well. But I think he might have over overstayed his welcome as the scout's now going to be turning around on that horseman. But uh, that horseman going to be able to harass these scouts. Definitely no way he's going to be able to get all of these scouts in uh, safely. And uh, I'd, I'd be curious to see... Oh, 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 he gets the lock. Beautiful micro right there around the corner, coming out and putting some punishment, some hurt onto doubt. He manages to secure this in and gets a beautiful lock. I mean, look, isn't that just absolutely amazing? Second horseman now going to be coming in and manages to, uh, to escape, freeing his... Uh, his horseman, but beautiful micro coming out there from 3DB. Very nice to see. We'll check in with Doubt. We'll see how he's doing. Uh, so, obviously got that stable up. Only the single stable at this time. Still a couple of villagers looking to secure up that uh, that extra stone, but uh, not going to have a lot of luck. And now you can see them trying their best to fight these scouts. Uh, going up against the, uh, the horseman, not having a whole lot of luck here. I think he's got one that's still without the carcass. He's got a couple deer back here, but... Um, the main issue that uh, that B is going to have is that he doesn't really have much defending these scouts on the way back. He's got more scouts back here. He does have double sable that he's opened up with, but it's going to take time before those units get out on the map. And you can see that 3DB is going to have to drop down these... Uh, these. Oh, he's actually managed to get out an early night nice and early. And, uh, I mean, that, that's what you do with early nights, right? You get them out nice and early. But uh, now going to continue pushing towards... The, uh, the units, and he's going to have to come back, double back for these deer carcasses, but I think he's still got one back up over here. Um, so, a little bit of an interesting play. Um, one of the things I would say to, to, to 3DB, if I was coaching him at this point, I'd be like, look, B, this is what you got to understand, man. Your enemy is not going to be going for their own deer. They're not going to be milling this. They're not going to be doing anything with it. They're not worried about it. You don't have to worry about taking their deer yet. Just go secure your own hunt first. Bring those seven in. Make sure they're under your town center. Then get out onto the map. Then try and steal them because they're going to put up early pressure. And you're going to need time to get those knights out to be able to fight them off. And now look what we see happening. Those early knights are being pushed back. But you can see he's, he struggled a lot with this in the early game. And now beginning to head back towards his position with, you know, an excess of scouts. Doesn't really need it. But uh, now going to be working towards bringing in this second hunt. Looks like a barracks going to be dropped down here as well for doubt. A smart move. Now, I think playing against the Rus is one of these rare occasions where you can actually go spears. Against the French, I don't think spears are a wise choice. Against the Rus, I think it's different. Just simply because the Rus knights don't heal. So you're always going to be able to trade relatively well with them. The main problem with the French is that you trade very ineffectively with them because you lose a spear, they don't lose anything and they just keep building their mass. Whereas, you know, with the Rus, they do lose health. And we continue to see they are losing more and more health on these bad boys. Still yet to lose one of those units, but uh, trying his best now. And we see that second spear going to be coming out here and uh, and fighting it off. It looks like it does go down, unfortunately. So Doubt now going to be uh, in a bit of a difficult spot off on this front berries. And ideally, that's where he would love to be. Second town center has gone up towards the back of the base. You can see he does have the villagers being rallied to the gold mine, but at the front of the base on the other side, uh, doubt, or, or rather, be uh, managing to secure up this front. But um, now the majority of these, uh, almost all of these deer carcasses have been brought in. Uh, so doing the right thing. Yet to really think about aging up at this point in time. Still a lot of resources in the bank, but still three tickets there he can use. Um, but uh, I mean, at this point, be looking pretty strong. Uh, and I think that the the burden is definitely on doubt to make a play this game that's going to be the big thing for him it's going to be about whether he can whether he can make that play um and I, ideally what we're talking about is is getting that win condition out so you can see he's got the two town centers in he's going to be able to get you know a significant villager lead but when it comes to b b 
definitely has... I mean, B, B is just going to stampede over the top of him if he does not pull something out of the bag. So that is going to be the big thing uh, for Doubt uh, and, and try and, I guess, swing a miracle. We'll check in with B. We'll see how he's doing. He is bringing back those deer ever so slowly. I love this change. I don't know about you guys. I'm just such a big fan of this change. It just makes so much sense watching these these horses, these scouts slowly bring in um, the these deer carcasses. But now the knight's continuing to uh, repel a couple of horsemen out towards the west of the map. Towards the, uh, the east side of the map, though, it looks like a couple of spears are going to be down here. But the, the big thing for me is now that Doubt needs to get up to the third age, but at the same time, he needs not to die. And he is playing against these constant raids. You can see this villager was probably looking to do some walls up here. Second villager is going to be going down here. If he's not careful, he's going to be losing a third one. Indeed, he does. And now these spears are going to be going down. I mean, he's getting an effective trade in here against these knights. But at the same time, is it really a trade that you want to be taking? Not particularly. But uh, now it looks like B going to be adjusting his uh, his play a little bit. We can see that he's gone and opened with a double uh, archery range in addition to the double stable that he started out with. And the pressure really begins to build. I would expect that we've got a blacksmith coming down shortly. There it is. No siege engineering just yet, but I would expect uh, to see that probably within the next 12 seconds. Oh, he's going for iron undermesh. Iron undermesh is going to be the way that he goes. So looking to get the plus one defense. Um, I'm assuming this is for the, uh, for the town center. His enemy at the moment is making fully melee armor, or fully melee troops. He's got the uh, horsemen, he's got the spearmen. Nothing at all of range. And yet he's going for the ranged armor. Why is that? It's got to be the town center. There's, there's no two ways about it. Is he thinking about diving the town center? Could that be it? Maybe. Up towards the north, though, it looks like the knight's going to be trying their best to get in on doubt. You can see he's actually managed to fit in 10 of his villagers, but unfortunately, he's got 13 up there. So a little bit of a, a misplay there by doubt. And now up towards the north, he's, uh, he's going to be looking to uh, enforce this position. But B really has a significant number advantage with more uh, knights out on the field than his enemies even got horsemen. So a very difficult position for him. Archer's going to be picking off those units. He's managed to get plus one ranged armor in. You can see the horseman there with plus three, but still outnumbered a significant amount. Typically, you would want to go two to one when it comes to your uh, your uh, horseman tonight. It's an overwhelming victory right there for B. B going to begin pushing in towards, uh, towards these positions. And there are five villagers for reward inside here. Um, and uh, we'll check back in with Doubt. We'll see how he's doing. Do we have any camels on the way? doesn't seem like it at this stage you can see he just doesn't have the infrastructure that he needs like he is making a lot of units here but at the same time 18 idols i mean he's got a whole bunch back here it's not looking pretty for him it just it comes back to the disruption this is why disruption is key in these games because if you're able to disrupt your enemy from gathering like we saw here at the early stages it ruins their entire plan doubt came into this game he had a plan he said, I'm going to come in. I'm going to drop my second town center down. I'm going to make my stable. Everything's going to be fine. But he never got to drop that second that second town center on time because he was constantly being harassed by those scouts on the stone mine. So very well played there from B. Great use of his forces to harass his enemy, prevent them from, from doing what he wanted to do. So really nice disruption in there. And now B going to continue looking to attack this second outpost as the villagers try and make a run for it. You can see they got their berry baskets out as they continue running away, but unfortunately the stealth forest isn't going to be enough to hide them as they do go down. A single villager remains. Does Kevin get out? Kevin, you can do it. No, Kevin does not get out. He's going to get... He's going to get killed. It wasn't Kevin. It was Karen. Sorry, Karen. It's sorry to see you go. Mill up to the wards of north here. Going to be going down. We'll do a quick assessment and see where the stock take is for these guys. I don't think there's any more up here. Uh, so he's managed to secure a huge amount of food. Uh, so you can see that underneath his town center. Uh, so about a 10,000 food swing there. Uh, a 48 villager uh, amount for 3D. Compare that over to 48 for Doubt. He's not looking terrible. So Doubt managing to, to keep up with the village accounts. The issue is the 13 military versus the 41. So we've got B, who's on a more than triple the military count of his opponent. And he's definitely got a window here to push that. So we'll take a look at the blacksmith. You can see Siege Engineering is coming through now. 
be stacking up 700 wood. I wouldn't be surprised if he's moved a whole bunch of villagers over to wood very recently. You can see a lot of these guys do look like they're cutting down fresh trees. And now I would suspect that we're going to see a third or, or two or even three uh, battering rams coming out and uh, and looking to really punish doubt. Ideally going for this weaker town center first and then moving in towards the, uh, the final destination, which is going to be that primary landmark and primary town center. Continuing to pick off those uh, those spears, not having a lot of luck, and we'll enter into the cinematic mode now as Doubt tries to hold on here once again for a final fight, at least what appears to be a final fight. It's in the base. He's doing a pretty decent job of taking down the number of archers that are here. Uh, to be honest, the archer numbers are beginning to dwindle, and if there's not archer numbers, or if there's no real archer numbers, then there's not going to be a lot of, of uh, archers or a lot of infantry to build those battering ramps. So you need to keep those alive. But now continues to... Uh, to overwhelm his opponent and I mean at this point in time I feel like I'm just watching an absolute slaughter score beginning to build up now to almost double uh, what uh, what doubt is on so we have seen a very quick swing in the last game uh, it took a little bit longer but in this game it seems like we're not even going to need battering rams at this point it's just got so many units in here five scouts 11 early knights you can see how fast they're sieging this down I wouldn't be surprised if we get a few villagers jumping out here uh, to potentially repair that bad boy up but uh, we'll have to wait. We'll have to see how he does it. But uh, yeah, continuing to struggle. Now that horseman going to get focused down by the archers. Got to be careful not to enter into the town center's line of fire. They, uh, It's got a quite a long range on it. You could see it firing off there. But uh, now archers going to be firing off on those villagers. No textiles for them. So they're going to be dying very, very quickly. And uh, it looks like doubt now. Going to be falling back. Uh towards that town center just not going to be having a lot of luck as the villagers do evacuate they do get try and get the emergency repair off we see it sitting at 209 uh it managed to heal it up to a little bit he's still got more and more villagers out there spears coming in onto the front line they got to make a decision do you want to do you want to attack the town center or do you want to fight and uh often it can be a difficult one because it seems like it's a reasonable option to go for like def definitely i want to go for the town center but uh now turning around and says you know what i'm just going to go for the fight we see a bit of trading happening right now doubt sitting up on 575 gold not a lot you can do with that and just gets completely overrun b now going to be dropping down a battering ram in the base of doubt and doubt in dire straits at this point i doubt very much he's going to be able to win this game as he continues to lose units we'll have a quick stock take of the village account 44 villagers versus 56 the building or the uh amount continues to to switch and is it an abbey of the trinity it's a high trade house ladies and gentlemen we've got our world's first high trade house 3 new b coming out with what is probably the rarest landmark you have ever seen and I don't even think we're barely going to get to see it because he's just overwhelming his opponent at this point in time. Manages to get the age up. Let's get a let's get a, a zoom in of that. I mean, it's so rare. Oh, hear that Russian music, that Russian music. It is beautiful. But look at that trade house. That is pulling in 137 per minute. I mean, it's not too bad. You'd think it'd be a little bit higher in there, but. Uh, Doubt now going to be able to repel out this attack, but keep in mind, he's lost a huge amount of villagers. He's sitting down on 46 at the moment. B up in the third age, he's sitting up on 59 villagers, managing to pull in quite the lead. That battering ram going to continue doing damage, soaked up towards the front. Even if he takes out that battering ram, I mean, he's just lost so many villagers. That battering ram decides to herd back, and B says, I am going to win this game. Doubt says, yes, you are indeed. Doubt taps out. We head through to game number three, fellas. If you are watching this on YouTube, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this cast. A little bit of a, uh, a an interesting game, a lot different to the last one. You can see just how consistent 3DB was there with the village account. Military, on the other hand, I mean, he was always ahead. He never was, was really behind. So very well played to be. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.